Well, let's talk about ambition natin. No? And okay. ambitioso talaga. Okay. Uh, but let's try to bring it down to, to, to some tangible terms. If we're going to be uh, middle, upper, up, upper, middle, and so on, what does that mean in terms of how many people do we, I mean, to start, for, to start with, how many people do we need to lift out of poverty right now? And what are some other indicators that we will use to measure mm -hmm. by 2040 whether or not we succeeded? Well, uh, under this administration, we aim to lift uh, about 6 million Filipinos out of poverty. Mm. And, uh, well, the middle-income country thing is different from poverty. Mm. Uh, middle-income country, by definition of the World Bank and the IMF, is uh, those countries having uh, 4,000 4, 4, U.S. dollars uh, per capita. Per capita. Mm. Uh, per capita. So, uh, we are about 3,800 uh, 3, now. Mm. And we expect that uh, by the, by next year, maybe or a bit later, maybe by 2021, hmm. we will achieve that middle-income country okay. status. Uh, just para lang po, it's easy. Uh, people can have a picture of it. Sino po ba ang peg for uh, middle-income country? I mean, who do we who do we benchmark against right now? Okay, well, uh, Thailand, for example, has already graduated hmm. into middle-income country status. Hmm. Indonesia also, uh, Vietnam not yet. Mm. Uh, uh, Vietnam is trailing, but it's moving fast. Mm. And uh, we expect, uh, given our growth rate of, uh, well, 6% or better, yeah. uh, we should be able to reach that by, actually, we should have re reached it this year, yeah. if not for the delayed budget, okay. 2019. Mm. But maybe it will be... Uh, deferred to 2020. But but that means, because we're, we're talking in, uh, per capita, mm, right? per capita yeah. GDP, but it that does give an, an objective number to back up what people say very casually, na, pati Vietnam, inunahan tayo. By that metric, objectively, it's true. Inunahan na tayo ng Vietnam. Uh, hindi pa na inunahan. Pero mm. they have been growing faster than we have been. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I've been doing some basic pencil pushing mm. here, no? So 4,000 US dollars na per capita, per capita GDP. Uh, translates to about 200,000 pesos per year hmm. for an average Filipino family, correct? That's right. Uh, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's per capita. Yes, per capita. Per capita, yes. Yeah. So in effect, that's 220. That's, that, that's the objective, right? Uh, the average. Not for the family, but for yes. each individual. Okay, so individual for each individual, yeah. 200. Yeah. So that's 20,000 a month. 20,000. Uh, maybe yeah. even less, less. No? 18,000. Yeah. 18, yeah. okay. yeah. And you're saying, in effect, that uh, that's the goal, at least in the short term, right? Uh, we hope to achieve it very soon because we're at 3,800 now. Yes. So, uh, but realistically, is uh, 18,000 for an individual now sufficient? Realistically. Well, uh, our poverty threshold is about uh, 10,000 pesos. Yes, sir. Okay, 10,000 pesos. So, uh, well, it would mean doubling or just a little less than doubling our uh, the threshold poverty. Mm -hmm. um, and that is the one that defines how many are, well, what is our poverty incidence, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is uh, right now, it is uh, somewhere around 18% maybe by the Family Income and Expenditure Survey of 2018. At 10,000? Ah, uh, yes, at, yes. at 10,000. Right. At 10,000, yes. yes sir. But, sir, but, you know, a lot of people have pointed out that uh, our poverty threshold right yes. now is, is quite unrealistic. Yes. You've even said it yourself. Exactly, uh, yes. For a family of five. Well, uh, well. Poverty incidence is, uh, you're really poor if you're below that, be Talaga. below 10,000. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's, it's uh, really it's absolute the, poverty. It's, it's absolute poverty, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so, so, so to raise it to 18,000 per head mm. and to call that middle class income, which is the objective of this ambition, 
Uh, isn't that a little too well, unambitious? Well, the ambition is 2040. <laughs> By 2040, <laughs> ah, okay. so it's not uh, 2022. Well, that's no, no, why. Middle so, anyway, income country. Uh, not, no, the middle class, yes, 2040. Uh, oh yeah, the yeah. middle income country status is it's not directly year. related yes, uh, to yeah. our poverty incidence because ah. these are two different measures. Okay, okay. okay. So but this does not mean it's that... A, it's a macro because thing. It's per capita, ah, okay. because it's macro. It's, it divides it's over the, the entire pie. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. so and you yes. get pulled up by the, yeah. by right. the rich. Uh, so yeah. the, the, the rich will you know, ca carry mm. the lower ones if mm. it's just per capita. Mm. So you metric now, by next year, we will be a middle-income country, country or first, at least first semester of 2021. Uh, yon, like yon, that, for the middle-income country, why? What's going to happen? What are we expecting well, it's a, uh, to make well, this happen? Are, if you if you project if you project uh, GDP GNI actually gross national mm. income growth rate of about five percent per annum, then you will reach uh, you know you will reach uh, mm. you know oh, a little over four thousand. Mm. So you're just in considering the trends, the trends, yeah, yeah, the right. macroeconomic that's, that's right. trends. Uh, yes. So, in, in the so it's not it's a little different from you know the poverty thing that yes. we are mm -hmm. talking that we are also talking about but it's mm -hmm. uh, because it's a really a very gross average mm -hmm. yeah